From the stadium that hosted Super Bowl 48 back in 2014, there's a look at MetLife Stadium here in East Rutherford. A few minutes ago, the hometown Jets were introduced to this sellout crowd, and it's a roar that could be heard across the river in Manhattan. They're set to go as their Jets will match up. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Yeah, the Jets' offense set to take over. And, and CD, this is a team that finished 7-9 and nine last year, their fourth straight losing season. First time the franchise has done that since the 1962-65 campaigns. But, you know, optimism reigns this time of year. And remember that it's a club that last season finished 6-2 and two in the second half. So what makes you think that they might be able to carry that over? Well, I would start with the offense. Young quarterback Sam Darnold leaving them. Look, they were 32nd last in the NFL for the entire season. Nowhere to go but up. But how about them fortifying that offensive line? And you get a season out of Le'Veon Bell which he expects to be a bounce back year. Now remember, defensively, they did lose their all-pro safety, Jamal Adams. He got shipped to Seattle in late July for a couple of future first-round picks. No, there's no doubt that does not help them this year, losing a player of his stature. But those two first-round picks in the future, that should only help this team. That catch good for only a couple. The 38-yard line. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. And here's the game's number three all-time rusher, Frank Gore. Slipped one tackle, but no more as he's knocked to the deck behind the line of scrimmage. They give those two yards right back, and now they're looking at a third and ten. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter... You're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. Dancing to his left. And he gets this only to the 41. Not near enough for the first. Five yards, and that means they come up short as they're going to have to punt here on the opening drive. Well, there were a couple of extra defensive backs in the game, so he really had nowhere to go with the football despite his search for an open receiver. So he has to take off and run for it, but he comes up well short of the line to gain. And the punt team on now as this one set away. Call that a 44-yard punt, five on the return. And the Patriots take over. Well, the Patriot offense set to take over the defending champs in the AFC East. They've been the title holders 17 of the last 19 years, 11 in a row. But now this, of course, a year unlike the others. No number 12 on the field. Yeah, and it's hard to believe that one player changes the fortunes of an entire division. But Tom Brady's just that player. Although it will be interesting to see, partner, how New England decides to compensate for the loss of him. Is it Jared Stidham who's been on their roster? Or how about Cam Newton, who they signed in the offseason? And remember, they do return the number one defense in the league, so they're solid on that side of the ball. And they have that coach on the sideline who's pretty good as well. And I think he's going to enjoy coaching a team of which there are actually doubts about for the first time and let's say conservatively, 15 years. They had three yards on first down, just one yard there. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. And that will be incomplete. Brian Poole that time there to get a hand on it. Certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. Now the second-year punter, Jake Bailey, on for New England. The Jets have Braxton Berrios back deep. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And the Jets will take over first and 10. Back onto the field come the New York Jets for their second drive. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trite expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. 
Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. Don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. Got out of the pocket. Didn't look like he had anybody open, Charles, so just gets rid of it. And a good play by him. If no one's open and you don't have a running lane that you want to take, make the right choice. Get rid of it. Live to fight another down. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. On the handoff, it's Gore. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. Well, that play was over before it even got started. Thanks for nothing, huh? How about that? That sets up a very difficult third down call now. An extra corner comes on now for the Patriots. D on third down. Now Darnold. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free. And it brings up fourth down. Two drives won't tell the story of this game, but you absolutely have to like how this defense has played thus far. They have yet to allow this offense to get on track in this one. Here's Braden Mann now as he'll punt it away for the second time. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. So possession goes over here on the punt. And possession will switch hands first and 10. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. And the first drive, three and out. Second possession, see if they can get a little momentum. And oftentimes that first drive is just a feeling out process. You have some plays that you've got called and you want to see how defense reacts. It may not go terrific on the first one. Now they're ready to go. They've kind of got a look at them, got a sense. Let's see if they open things up a little bit. Let's see if they open things up. Let's see what the defense does here, too, after a good stop. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Brings up yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle the of the lot. A lot of line. bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. On second and nine, Newton throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. He was looking for his tight end, Devin Asiasi there. And that'll make it third down. Nowadays, quarterbacks don't mind throwing in the coverage because of the confidence they have in their receivers to come down with the ball. But sometimes you have to be careful you don't get too confident and throw an interception. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. And that is incomplete. Every offense tells you they want to come out and start fast. That's not unusual at all. But this group, they've yet to get much rolling through their first two drives. It looks like they have to give up the football again after this one. The Patriots send out their punter as he'll kick it away for the second time. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. A 40-yard punt, no return, and out will come the offense as they take over. The New York set to take the field. They've had it twice. They've punted twice, not the start they were hoping for. Not at all, and let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice, so they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? He was trying to find his tight end, Chris Herndon. And that'll bring up second down. Looked like he had a couple of different options as far as who to throw to on that play. And who am I to say this, but I'm not sure he made the right decision. Well, the window of opportunity is always going to be small in the NFL. That's why those quarterbacks who make quick decisions and have quick releases have the most success in this league. Now a pass taken in by the tight end Herndon. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. -yard line. Nice job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius. Understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball. And puts it right out there for the nice pickup. On first down, it's Gore. And the lane closes up quickly as he'll get about three down to the 38. Tackle made. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. 
The play fake, and it's Darnold. And his throw's going to be incomplete. The wideout, Chris Hogan, the intended receiver, and it's third down. And that one going to be off target and incomplete. If they want a first, they need to get the football to the 32 here on third down. Out of the shotgun, here's Darnold. Throw complete to Herndon. And he's going to get to the 31, enough for the first down. Darnold to his tight end, Herndon, first down, New York. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn it into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots down field. He was five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Brings up a quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Watch his left. Watch his left. Watch his left. They'll toss it left to Gore. And he's in. Touchdown, Jets. Frank Gore. 26 yards, and the Jets have taken a first quarter lead. Well, partner, that was another explosive run, and one thing I've learned in our time in this game, yes, the offensive line has to get a lot of credit, but for big runs to occur, the wide receivers have to block well downfield. And then you have to have a good guy carrying the ball too, right? Oh, without a doubt. You need that difference maker lugging the rock. Point after, right down the middle, and it's now a 7-0 game. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. New England trying to get to place on offense. Well, this is their third drive right now. Maybe not about points, just about getting something. They haven't gotten a first down yet in this game. It's a mental barrier you don't think about until you go a couple of drives without getting a first down. Then all of a sudden it looms big. It gets harder and harder to actually attain that first first down. Newton and the Patriots with a first and 10 at their own 22. That's going to be caught. It's Jacoby Myers. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. James White. I know what you're thinking out there. I know a lot of you are thinking, take a shot downfield. It's a great spot for it. I'd say maybe later in the game, definitely in the second half. But right now, I think they were just trying to get some momentum built. Get a first down, pick it up, and keep moving. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They stay on the ground. This time it's Michelle. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. No game a quick observation, Brandon, because early on in this game, I'm seeing linebackers playing with their noses close to the line of scrimmage. And my guess is the wheels are turning on that other sideline. As a play caller, you're filing that away right now, aren't you? Yeah, you're trying to find that opportunity later on when you can play action them or stick something to them between the second and the third level. Cam throwing complete here to Edelman. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. It's a first down on a gain of 10. First down. There's a nice catch there by Julian Edelman, and he's going to be a reliable target, 
no matter who's playing quarterback. Topped 1,000 yards receiving for the third time last season. I just love his story. College quarterback to one of the top slot receivers in the NFL. Now a first down carry, it's Michelle. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. Brought down by Avery Williams. We haven't seen much from him running the football here in this first quarter. No, you're right about that. We haven't seen much of him at all so far. They've stacked him up pretty well, but when you're trying to run the football, sometimes you've got to play the long game. Keep handing it to him, and some of those runs that aren't working now, they turn into six, seven, eight, and maybe more later on. On second down, Michelle. And he'll take it across midfield down into Jet territory. It'll be a gain of five, but still about three yards shy of the first down marker, and now it's third down. That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 35. That'll be a New England first down, a gain of 12. And Let's give a little credit there. The offensive play caller sense that the screen pass was available. Whenever you're getting a lot of heavy pressure towards your quarterback, that's when you're thinking about running the screen and using that pressure against the defense. And it worked very well there for a first down. First down, here's White. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to the huddle and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. From the 31, Newton. Open man is Myers. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. It's a gain of six. Brings up third and inches. Third and inches, and they've got some extra beef up front. Three tight ends. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Jets seven, Patriots nothing. The offense on third down tonight, just one for three thus far. They're looking at third and a few inches. They'll try and run for it. Here's Michelle, and he's going to have a first down here as he gets this one to the 17-yard line. The drive stays alive, a third down gain of eight. Sonny Michelle comes out of a long line of terrific running backs from the University of Georgia and was a first-round selection for New England in 2018. He does not mind carrying the football, never turns down an opportunity. Top 10 in rushing attempts in the league in 2019. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Henry Anderson, big man from Stanford, there for the stop. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Just beating the play clock is Newton. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. Nikhil Harry was the intended target, but now it'll be third down. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. New England on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This will be third and six. That's complete into the hands of Myers. And they'll get him down short of the first down, right on the 10-yard line. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping them from the first down. Now stopped him in his tracks. The kick is good. So they get the field goal, but that was a 14-play drive to get three. 
You sound like you're going negative on me I there, was. partner. I was. Sounds like, sounds like you're thinking the three is just not that good. And people say that we're negative sometimes. <laughs> so. <laughs> well, here's the deal. <laughs> Getting the three is good. Obviously, you would think on a 14-play drive you're going to get six out of it. But that type of a drive can pay dividends later on because you might wear the defense down. Taking it about the one. And able to get this out to the 25. Back on offense, New York gets set to take over. That last drive, it was a good mix. Run, pass, run, pass. Defense on their toes. And what really helps out in a big way is when you're doing the run, pass, mix, and everything's working, that means that they're guessing wrong every time on defense. They think you're going to pass when you run, and vice versa. I would continue that, and when they finally draw a beat on you, Maybe you mix it up a little bit, a little play action to throw the ball. And will they maintain that balance? Time to find out. And nearly picked off. Surprising to see a defender of his caliber let him get away. But it does get away, and it's second down. The shotgun snap for Darnold. He's got Herndon. His tight end. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Second down pass play got him eight yards. Now they've got a third and a couple remaining. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. Run there by Frank Gore, and he has to be one of the most admired players in the NFL. Started the 2020 season, number three all-time on the rushing list, less than 1,400 yards shy of Walter Payton as the season kicked off. Spent a year with Coach Adam Gase in Miami, now he's hooked back up with him again with the New York Jets. Taken down at the there to stop him, Jawan Bentley. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. From the 41, Darnold. On the catch, it's Crowder. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. Catch there by Jamison Crowder. 78 catches, 833 yards, and six touchdowns in 2019. Operates very well out of the slot. One of the niftier receivers in the league. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. The tackle made by Lawrence Guy able to bring him down. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Now on second down, this is Gore. And he's going to take this down close to the first as he's brought down at the Patriots 32. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Now this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack, and guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. And here's carry number 10 for Frank Gore. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Well, it's almost football 101 that you preach to your safeties. Don't let anyone get behind you. You're the last line of defense. But he didn't let the play come to him. He went to the play. How about that read and recognition and finishing off that one behind the line of scrimmage? On second down, Gore. 
And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. A gain of 13, it's a first down. I'm not sure how much more evidence they need, partner, than to understand that if they don't start to slow him down, it's going to be a long afternoon here at the stadium because he is just shredding them at this point. And let's face it, coming into the game, they knew he would be the focal point of their attack. This is going to take an 11-man unit on the defensive side to start making plays. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. At the Patriots' 22-yard line. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. And they'll try the air now with Darnold. And that's caught. It's Hogan. And he's taken down after a gain of three as they move it from the 22 to the 19. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. Throwing here on third down, Darnold. Fine work by the Patriot D there, and it's fourth down. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs, able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. So on fourth down, the Jets turn to kicker Sam Ficken. It'll be from the right hash, and it'll be a 36-yarder. Ficken's kick is good. And they push the lead up to a touchdown now at 10-3. So they get three, certainly hoping for six after a 13-play drive. So you console yourself on defense by saying you did your job, right? If they go 13 plays, you only give up a field goal. You did a nice job there. But here's the other part. 13 plays, you don't force any mistakes. You don't take the ball away. Maybe that's the way they should look at it. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away on the return it's Taylor and he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26 yard line and the Patriots gearing up to go now it's been very much a slow start for them three drives and just the three points CD yeah if you're into the points per drive ratio that answer is one, and that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not having balls go through goalposts. Cam going to bring the Patriots up now, first and 10 at their own 26. The drive starts with a completion, left side. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and it'll be second and very short. And there's a completion to the tight end, and look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. Pardon, if you want more carries, I think we saw how you get him. Showed that he's got the fresh legs, and he picked up the first down on that run. Don't just ask for them. Show them that you're supposed to get the football. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. From the 50, Newton. Open man is Asiasi, the tight end. Devin Asiasi. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Now it's Newton. And his throw here's incomplete. 
Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. He's got to throw it better, got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They've got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. From the gun on third down, Newton. And he'll have his man, that's Adelman. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 34-yard line. That goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. And there's a catch there by Julian Edelman, and I know the conversation is very big on how much will he miss Tom Brady. But Edelman's one of the top slot receivers in the league and an uber competitor. He's going to miss his friend, but he wants to show the rest of the league that his skills transfer no matter who's throwing him the football. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. So it goes as a completed pass, but they lose a full five yards. Well, that wasn't exactly a thing of beauty. I know they completed the pass, but look at the yardage lost. I mean, who does that make happy? That's why I don't play in PPR points per reception fantasy <laughs> leagues right there. You'd be really you don't deserve upset, anything right? for that. But you get credit for it? Is yeah. that how that works? Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Matthias Farland. And the return out shy of midfield to the 46-yard line. The Jets take over. Darnold going to lead the Jets up now. First and 10 at their own 46. And now the drive starts with a completion out to the right. Seven yards, the pickup there. A seven-yard pickup brings up second and three at the 46-yard line. Second down and three. Now it's Darnold. Got a man. It's Brashad Perriman. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. Getting it to him in space pays off big time. That winds up going for 31. That was awfully nice. Hit him in stride and off he went. It was almost like the ball hitting him. It was like him receiving a baton, and he was running the anchor leg in a relay race. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Now left side on the swing pass. And he's able to work it here to the 8-yard line. Seven yards there on the first down screen play. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. Second down from the eight. They can get a first down by reaching the five. Darnold from the gun. And an incomplete pass. Darnold's pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. Jason McCourty. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. To the air again, Darnold. And he's going to go down. Sacked back at the 13-yard line. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. A 30-yard attempt. Ficken's kick is good. And they will stretch their lead to 10 now at 13-3. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high.
set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. On the return, it's Taylor. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And you're under a minute to go in the half, a first half that hasn't been particularly kind to you. How do you think they'll play this? So I think the smart approach is to run out the clock, lick your wounds at the half, and see if you can come up with a strategy to play better in the second. But there's also something to challenging your offense right here. You know, hey, guys, you help dig this hole. See if you can get us out of it a little bit before the half runs out. Let's go make some plays. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. <laughs> Throwing again, Newton. Gets this into the hands of Nikhil Harry. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. First and 10 here, and you know, if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one-score game at half that might provide a psychological boost. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Jacoby Myers, the intended receiver, and it's second down. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield equally good they'll try again from the 36 on second and 10 to throw again newton looking for edelman and he hits him it's complete and he'll be taken down but not before he works it past the 50. the patriots will take their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. A play fake to Michelle. Now Newton. He's got a man complete. It's Julian Edelman. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. It's another first down as they look his way again. This time, 19 yards. We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. It's in the game. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. New England trying to get to place on offense. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. <laughs> Shocker. <laughs> try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. You know, despite the scoreline, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. And it's Not the start to the drive they were looking for. That run doesn't do much at all. No, not at all, and it leaves them with third and long, and you know this is the time of game where these drives really, really start to matter. They've got to make some moves. Throwing on third down, Newton. Wide open, Julian Edelman. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. He continues to deliver a first down here. He had four catches in the first half, and this one number five. 
The former seventh round pick Julian Edelman just continues to have such a productive career. And has made himself into a receiver. Remember, he was a college quarterback and not just a productive one, a very good one. At Kent State, right? Yes, a great leader, a guy who can make plays with his feet and his arm. Got to the NFL and had to convert into being a receiver and was drafted that way. And that conversion, oh boy, it's been good. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. That catch good for only a couple. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. On second down, they'll run with White, and he'll take this one down to the 36. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. The shotgun snap for Newton. He'll find his tight end here, Asiasi. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. That one good for 13 at a New England first down. I don't know what they talked about at halftime. Whatever it was, it worked. They looked like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that there are very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. And able to get about three as he's taken down right at the 20. He's brought down at the 20. They know that old expression, it's, it's not my night. Three. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Catch is made by Harry. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. I think a lot of people ask the same question all the time. Why do we see so many slants in the red zone? Well, the windows are tighter. Everything's more condensed. It has to be quicker, and you've got to deliver the ball on time. Your biggest worry, ball gets tipped in the air, because if that happens, then it's fair game for the defense. This is caught. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. A five-yard touchdown. And the Patriots have cut it back within a score. You get down near the goal line, this is where having a sure-handed tight end becomes a luxury. And it pays off big time, especially when the defense sells out against the run. And he finds himself open for an easy touchdown. And he puts it through there within three. It's 13-10. Makes the score Jets 13, Patriots 10. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. Here's the Jets offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. Darnold going to lead the Jets up now, first and 10 at their own 26. They'll try and start the drive here with Gore. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. 
Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Out of the shotgun. Here's Darnold. Flush to his right. The coverage may be too good that time as he breaks away for 19 with his legs and a first down. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. They get this to Hogan on the jet sweep. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Well, they gave up a few yards there, but all in all, I think it's a pretty nice job defensively against the Jets' sweep. If they don't slow him up, he might take it to the house, so they'll take that play every time on the defensive side of the ball. Darnold, he lost the football, and it's picked up by the Patriots, and they will set up shop at their own 41-yard line. Very good starting position for the Patriot offense as they come up first and 10 at the 41-yard line. And he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. A six-yard pickup. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one? Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Just beating the play clock is Newton. And this will be incomplete. Jacoby Myers, the intended receiver. And it's third and four. And just not enough on the throw there. Down around his feet and incomplete. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Out of the gun, Newton. To the right side and he's got Edelman. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 47. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. Boy, how good has this defense been seemingly all game long? I really think right from the first snap, I think you're really onto something there in this passing game. It just can't get off the ground, and that play, it wound up losing yardage. On is the punt team now as this one sent away. And a nice job here to down this one right on the five-yard line. Absolutely love the flexibility of these punters. Their leg drive, able to get it way up in the air, and that allows their punt team to get down there and down it inside the 10 because they've had some time. First and 10 and kind of tipping their hand at running the ball. Three tight ends are out there. From his own goal line, Darnold looking for Perriman there. He's got him. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. Completion there to Bashad Perriman, and the best part of his game come out of UCF is ability to run. A sub-4-4 sprinter. They need him now in New York to replace speeds to Robbie Anderson who signed with Carolina. He's going to take over the outside vertical routes that Anderson provided, and they're hoping for big plays downfield. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. It's a Getting a sense that the momentum of this game is changing since the break. Nice play there, and this D is fired up. Second and 11 now. Off of play action, Darnold toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. He was looking for Jamison Crowder there, and it's third down. I think he's a little trigger happy right there, and it turned into an ill-advised throw into their zone. Well, we know he has confidence. He'll throw it any place, any time, anywhere. That time it fell incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Darnold. They go with the screen to Gore. And he's going to lose yardage here. Back to his own 18. 
Not at all what they envisioned on third down. Three yards in the wrong direction. Well, you can see what they wanted to do. They wanted to set up the screen there, but it got blown up. It's hard to run that play if you're not getting a lot of pressure at the quarterback because the space doesn't open up. They were able to read that one and slow it down and stop it before they could get a first down. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Now comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. Great way to start the drive. 20 big ones in a first down. And they'll continue to look for more catches like that from Nikhil Harry. He was New England's first pick in the 2019 draft. Had a disappointing rookie season, though. Only 12 catches for 105 yards and just two touchdowns. With his talent and his potential, this team needs him to step up. Looks like he's going to get a couple here on this first down carry, and that'll make it second and eight. He's brought down. That's certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground, but I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Throwing on second and eight. Newton over the middle. Julian Edelman, it's complete. Complete to six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Of six. And it's third down. Now a play fake, and it's Newton. Looking deep downfield. Now the Jets' defense making things difficult there. Fourth down. Well, you got to think that sooner or later, they're going to hit one of those, but the coverage has been excellent thus far, and it was again on the last play. This would have been a 54-yard boot had they tried a field goal, but they will not try a field goal. They're going for it. Here we go with Michelle. And boy, is he close. Did he get there? No, they're going to say he's short of the line to gain. Sony Michelle won't get there. And the Jets are going to get the football back. Darnold going to lead the Jets up now. First and 10 at their 35 yard line. They'll start on the ground with Gore. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Nice way to start the drive. A gain of 12 and a first down. Interior of that line blocked really well on that run, but also the two tight ends, they blocked well too. Not only have they scouted the line of scrimmage, with their agility, they can get upfield and hit moving targets like linebackers, defensive backs. They do a really good job helping out the running game. He's going to look deep for Perriman. Oh, incomplete. A turnover would have really helped there. Almost intercepted. Instead, it's just second down. It's second down and 10. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum, big play, right in his hands, unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense that that fell harmlessly to the ground. A good action to this point in the third quarter. Just a three-point game. Second and ten. And his pass incomplete. And that one going to come up short. Low throw. Brings up third down and ten. That's the reason we ball for. Circle round twice for the encore. You know, you know. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. The shotgun snap for Darnold. On the catch, it's Crowder. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 39. That's good for a Jet first down, a gain of 13. And at the 39-yard line. That's the end of the And that quarter. is going to do it for this third quarter of action. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports.
So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Again, Darnold. Throw complete to Herndon. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. And that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pick up on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Now another carry here tonight for Gore. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower, that front seven reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing. Slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. Yeah, they'll try and go jet sweep here with Pyramid. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. Eight, two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Two yards on the pick. Defensively, they had that one pretty well figured out. Yeah, and one of the things about this play, it can be even more effective when you run a lot of motion and there's plenty of times you don't hand it off. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. And he's going to take this down close to the first as he's brought down at the Patriots' 13-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. I know the game's not over, but there's got to be a sense of satisfaction right now for the guy carrying the football a bunch today. 99 yards, and he has enough time to go over the century mark. Well, you got to give it to him again, right? Yeah, there's no doubt about it. You're not worried about losing yardage here. You're not worried about any of that. You just want to get him to the promised land for every runner, 100 yards or more in a game. Four yards on the pick up there as it'll leave him with a third and about four more for first. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. The Jets on third down. They've converted three times and eight chances. This is third and four. Now Darnold. That is into the hands of Perriman. Touchdown, Jets. Jets. A seven-yard touchdown grab, and the Jets will extend their lead. On those slants, everything happens so quickly. What makes it work? The timing between the passer and the receiver. In this case, a slant route. Ordinarily, it's probably about three steps before you go on the slant. In this amount of time, I think it was a two-step deal. Boom, put his foot in the ground and got inside for the pass. Got inside for the pass, got inside for the catch and the score. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Patriots offense now, they work their way back onto the field. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. Newton and the Patriots with a first and 10 at their own 23. He'll set up the throw from the gun. Now he'll let it go deep over the middle. And that will be incomplete. 
Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. Once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. Throwing again. Newton. Open man is Asi Asi, the tight end. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Five yards, now it's third and five. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense, and guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off near the 29. And his guys are going to get the football at the 28-yard line. Intercepted. The Jets take over first and After the interception, here's Darnold. This one caught by Crowder. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Another nice pick up through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. And this carry number 20 for Frank Gore. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Gilmore. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And he's going to have a first down here as he gets this one to the 17-yard line. Good. Two yards and able to get the first down in the process. First and ten. Brandon, with a defense just simply can't get off the field on third down, and we all know how important that down is for both sides of the ball. You often feel like you're just a step behind whatever they're doing offensively. And one of the differences in this game, no doubt, third down conversion, and that is going to be a story they'll talk about after this one. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. At the 18-yard line. And they'll try the air now with Darnold. Herndon's got it complete. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. The Jets on third down. They've hit on half of them, five for ten. This will be third and five. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. The one with the dive look that time on defense just flooded the field with defensive backs, blanketed everyone, took away all the passing angles, thus the incompletion. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. 29 yard attempt. And the holder's going to keep it. He's going to try to run for it. The fake field goal catches everyone by surprise. And the Jets capitalize on the short field as they take it in for six. And a special play there by the special teams. It's one thing to fake it. He ran it in for the score. I think the special teams coach saw something on film in preparation for this game. Told the head coach, now's the time. He got the green light, and they worked it to perfection. That'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. Makes the score Jets 27, Patriots 10.
The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. On the return, it's Taylor. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. New England trying to get to place on offense. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. And lucky to get away with one there. That one nearly picked. Second down. To throw again, Newton. His throw incomplete. He was looking for Julian Edelman that time. And it's third down. Well, so far on this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure or do they play coverage on this down? New England on third down. They've converted five times in their many chances thus far. This is third and ten. Throw left side here, taken in by Asi Asi, the tight end. And yeah, they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. A gain of and a nice gain yards. of 21 yards. And the Patriot first down. One of the advantages of zone defense, as I remember it, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. One of the disadvantages, when they find those levels where they can hit you with it, sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. Cam throwing complete here to Edelman. That catch good for only a couple. People worry about throwing the out route because often it can get jumped, and that can turn into an either an incompletion or an interception. But not on that one. Everything came together, and he catches it and goes over the sideline. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Again, Newton. That's complete right side to Asi Asi. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That'll go as a pickup of 32 on the catch and run. At this stage, there's nothing left to do but to keep firing. And if you're a play caller, you may go off your sheet and use some things maybe you hadn't planned to in this game. Maybe that was one of them there that worked. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. They will run with White out of the shotgun. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. From the gun, here's Newton. Looking for Edelman, and he hits him. It's complete. So he got free of one tackle, but couldn't do a whole lot else. That's a gain of four as we slip inside of four minutes left in regulation. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs, as we just saw there. From the gun on third down, Newton. He hits White, complete. And he gets the first down yardage he needs before he's brought down at the six. First and goal. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. I'm sure at times James White gets frustrated because he might want to carry the ball a little bit more, but when you catch it like that, that's how teams are going to use you. The majority of the snaps may come on passing downs because he can create big plays downfield. Second on the team in catches in 2019, he led his squad into the... And that's going to be caught for a Patriot no, touchdown. To Nikhil, Nikhil Harry touchdown. there to make the grab. And the Patriots get a score closer.
I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed, but if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively, though, you're probably hoping for a one-to-five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right, and if you have that one-to-five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope when they had to slog their way downfield. They got the touchdown, but it's almost like, uh, yeah. yeah, you know. It doesn't you kinda, feel right. Exactly. <laughs> Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And the Jets have got it. Onside kick. Fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. No gain on the play there. Second down. And ten. Decent start defensively to this series. They've got to stop them here and get this ball back. I like the way you phrase that, partner. Decent start, but now... It's got to be more about the ball. It's all about the ball, getting it away from them because making good tackles is one thing, but the clock will run out on you. You've got to have the football back for your offense. Another running situation on the doorstep as they come up second and 10. Another carry now for Gore. And now right out of the two-minute break, We'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Now this is a big fun, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Darnold. Trying to improvise. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. On the right hash, officially, this will be a 51-yard attempt. And this one will not get there. It's off to the left anyway. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. So Cam Newton and his offense down by 10. Just over a minute, 40 to play. They'll need a score here and also likely an onside kick recovery. But first things first, first and 10. Newton to throw. He's got a man complete. It's Julian Edelman. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. New England. How about a guy proving his worth in different ways? Had the big play in the run game to play before. This time, they go right back to him in the passing game. And he comes through with yet another big play. That's why you work out so hard in the offseason, so you can stay on the field and accumulate big plays. Now throwing on first down and completing it. And he'll get it down here to the 43. That catch good for only a couple. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. But slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. Now it's Newton.
It's caught. This is White. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 33. It's a first down on a gain of 10. And the but one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Got a man open. That's Harry. The Patriots will take their third and final timeout as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in the football game. Complete, and we're down to eight seconds now. Incomplete from the contest. Brings up second and ten at the 22-yard line. So after the incompletion, second and ten from the 22. Now Newton. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Quincy Wilson with the INT. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Intercepted. The Jets take over first and 10. On first down, Gore. And a short gain here as he gets it up only to about the six. Tonight's final score, Jets. Charles, I think when the schedule comes out, all teams, no matter where they're predicted to finish, talk about protecting your home turf. They were able to do that here in this one. Similar to a tennis match, right? Not letting them break your serve. That way you hold on to it. They got it done, and they feel very good about that victory. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. It's a win for the Jets as we say so long from MetLife Stadium.